Powerboat P1. The latest news direct from Powerboat P1. The teams are behind the scenes. The sun shone on Gosport as round three of the 2016 Powerboat P1 Superstock Grand Prix of the Sea hit the south coast. High winds made racing tricky in the Solent, but the thousands of spectators at Stokes Bay were treated to another first-class weekend of racing. Championship leaders Per Temps Network continued their excellent start to the season to finish second overall, taking their first victory of the weekend in race three. Shelley Jury Lee caught up with Daisy Coleman, who was cautious about claiming the season prize so soon. Oh, oh and yeah, soon. don't speak too soon, Shelley. We've still got two events. We've got Cardiff, and we all know what happened in Bournemouth last year, and it was really rough, so anything can happen. But this weekend has been great. I mean, I would say, I don't know, I wasn't in the boat with you, but as a racer, I think you've played a very careful game this weekend, haven't you? We have. We've played it a little bit tactical, Shelley. Obviously, um, this is our first time Simon and I have been in these waters together, so we thought, you know what, we're not going to break the boat. We've got to finish the fourth race on the second day, so we thought, right, we'll take our time yesterday, feel our way around a bit, and just... Um, um, nurse about home basically and then today we thought we had a chat with John last night and uh, picked us into place and sort of had a, went out today and won the first and came third and second so chuffed to bits with that. Now John Wilson is your, your ex uh, team owner and team driver. Sam you've actually sort of had to step into a, a very large seat there. He's a very experienced racer. Yeah, yeah. What, what did he say to you last night? <laughs> oh can't give it too much. I, <laughs> I can't tell you exactly what he said but it was um it was more about putting my head back in the right place. I've never raced in the Solent before, so with the unpredictable waters, I was sort of over-reading them and not letting the boat do too much and trying to pick every wave out. And I was beating myself up when I missed a wave and stuff, and uh, I really struggled with that and was miles out with the trim settings yesterday. So we had a chat about that overnight, came out with a blank sheet of paper this morning and felt really comfortable, like really happy. So we were on it straight away this morning. The Solent looked easy this afternoon. I mean, and I'm saying that sat from the beach, sitting on the beach, and I know what you're going through. Um, it was sort of a very short, hard chop. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there's often holes out there. Was it as easy as it looked? No, that's what I struggled with. Was um, There wasn't really a rhythm to it, as usual, uh, as we found in Scarborough or Bournemouth, where I raced last year. Um, so it wasn't quite so readable, and it was the holes that I would catch me out uh, so to speak and there was quite a bit of ferry traffic and stuff going up and down as well so there was oh, a lot welcome of to the Solent <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of stuff coming from the side that I was like oh man that looks big and that's not coming in from where the waves were coming before I was like hold on <laughs> just hold on um, but yeah we uh, felt so much more comfortable today and so much more at ease I was buzzing absolutely buzzing well don't beat yourself up Sam because I tell you what a lot of us get it wrong in the Solent <laughs> including <laughs> myself um, tell me a little bit what's going to happen before Cardiff guys we've got some practice to do um, we're going to the boat's got a little bit of fiberglass work needs to be done um, we're gonna the engine's gonna have a service and we're gonna go out and do some tests in the flat and just we make lost, sure uh, we money. lost the trim motor in the last race as well so it was trimming itself back out so we that's where we really struggled in the even though we finished third close to south street gave us a bit of a run at the end of the race which was interesting but uh we couldn't really hang with the guys in front because it was just a bit too loose so um we need to sort out the trim motor as well so.